Kiwi Bees is a business run by Jack Barley. One of the services that Jack has created is called Hoster Hive, where beehives are rented out on an annual basis to people who are keen to support bees but don't have the time or expertise to do it themselves. We run a rental of fully managed beehives. We have a lot of clients in lifestyle blocks, home gardens, who want to have bees on their property, but they don't know how to look after them, or if they do, they don't have the time. That's why a lot of people are enjoying the host to hive service, which is what Kiwi Bees runs. To be honest, I never thought I'd be a beekeeper. I always wanted to be an all black, and that fell through. Um, just by chance, when I was studying um, up at Waikato University, I had some friends who were starting a beekeeping business here in Hawke's Bay, and I had the opportunity to come and help them out during my summer breaks, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I fell in love with the bees, and when I graduated from Waikato, I actually came back and helped them manage about 1,500 hives for the year, and it was just a great time because I was able to get registered, certified, got some of my own hives. And the amount of times we got asked by people to have one or two hives on their property, it was ridiculous. And it wasn't feasible for my friends or for other bigger companies to be having one or two hives here and there. So that's why I started Kiwi Bees and the host hive service, because people are really getting behind bees now. They know the importance of bees and they're loving having them in different areas. We now have over 150 clients around Hawke's Bay and the majority of those are in home gardens or uh, lifestyle blocks. As a kid, you know, you grew up with, with bees around you. In a lot of places now, the bees are non-existent. And that's one thing we'd love the country to get behind, in that getting kids comfortable around bees. With my clients that do have kids, I get them to come up to the hive with me, and they can scratch down beside it and watch the bees coming in and out and doing their thing. Um, and they, they realise, oh, hang on a minute, they're not actually just going to come and sting me for no reason. So we're really trying to um, encourage people to be comfortable around the bees. A lot of this is word of mouth now. I come out and do a site visit, and if their property is okay to host a beehive, then we go ahead from there. But we're very careful where we put beehives to make sure it's not creating a nuisance for neighbours or anybody else. But the gist of it is, if people want bees on their property, we give them a year contract for the hive. Um, they can renew that at the end if they would like and I come out once a month, look after the hive for them. They get an experience with the bees. If they want, they can jump in a suit with us um, and we can show them the queen bee, the brood, the nurse bees, and just educate them on how they're, how they're wonderful creatures. This queen here, she's just hatched out. So she's a new queen. She's a bit smaller, but normally they'll be a bit bigger than that. Once she's mated, it will start laying. She can lay up to a thousand eggs a day. On top of that, they get to see actually a, a product, the honey, coming off their hive. You get a pot of honey every week or every two weeks, depending on what package you get. And we actually moved now um, from giving pre packed clover honey to clients being actually able to have some of the honey from their own hive instead. Currently, clients who are after a backyard package, which is a pot of honey every two weeks, and obviously my services to come out for the year, that's $300 a year and we have a home and garden package which is two beehives and a pot of honey every week. Now pro people probably aren't going to eat that much honey, we understand that. Um, they can give it away as gifts or they can um, sell it or do what they want with it. The Varroa mite in New Zealand is becoming a real threat to us. Um, there's rumours out there that uh, the mite are becoming resistant to a few of the chemicals we're treating with, which is going to create a huge dilemma. On top of that we've got the American fowl brew disease. Um, you know, this is a debilitating disease, and if any hives um, catch the disease, then they need to be eliminated straight away, destroyed. So that's a, um, a big concern. You know, that's why we didn't sell beehives. This is why we're providing the annual rental of fully managed beehives, so that we have some controls over the disease. We can be doing the regular brood checks to make sure that um, we're on top of that. In terms of foraging, we encourage all our clients, whether people have bees or don't have bees, we want them to be planting bee-friendly species, like Bernie has with his nursery with native plants. We encourage people to plant rosemary, lavender, borage, any bright flowers, yellows, blues, ultraviolet colours. That's huge. We want people not just in Hawke's Bay, but in New Zealand to get behind us, and they don't necessarily have to have a beehive, but they can help the bees by being careful with what they spray and by planting bee-friendly species. Bernie Gunn from Hawke's Bay Forest Restoration Limited uses the Kiwi Bees Hoster Hive service. Your hive's looking good. Yeah. Got some honey for you. Producing. Yeah. 
I've got a patch of bush that I planted when I was at high school, and now it's at a stage where it's actually producing seed consistently of those native species that I planted. So having the bees there kind of enhances the fertilisation of those flowers, so I'll get more consistent seed off those trees, because some years you get great seed crops off them, and some years you get virtually nothing. Um, so having the bees there just increases the chances of getting good seeds. Because without the seeds, you can't do cuttings of many species. So. I love it. I mean, the practicals of having bees and what they do for the plant side of things, and having the honey's fantastic. I, I don't really eat sugar as such, but honey is my alternative, and it's so much more to it. The setup costs from scratch for me would be more than it cost for me to get Jack and you know, his service for the year. So even in that respect, it's an amazingly good deal. But also, whatever happens with the bees, because they're a living, you know, living system, lots of different things can happen. Yeah, Jack's got all that covered and I don't need to worry about that. We would love to see more of the Kiwi bees beehives in different parts of the country. We've had huge interest from areas like Christchurch and Wellington and different areas where there's no one actually providing the service. And we're in the process now of actually trying to tee up um, different systems that are in place so that when we go to these areas, we have other beekeepers that come on board and take on a Kiwi Bees franchise. We're open to inquiries and, um, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.